This is Catholic Daily Mass Readings and Reflections for October 30, 2023, Monday of the 30th week in Ordinary Time. First reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, chapter 8, verses 12 to 17. Therefore, brothers, we are not debtors to the flesh, so as to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you mortify the deeds of the flesh, you shall live. For all those who are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. And you have not received again a spirit of servitude in fear, but you have received the spirit of the adoption of sons in whom we cry out, Abba, Father. For the Spirit himself renders testimony to our spirit that we are the sons of God. But if we are sons, then we are also heirs, certainly heirs of God, but also co-heirs with Christ. Yet in such a way that if we suffer with him, we shall also be glorified with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm Your response, our God is the God of salvation. God arises, his enemies are scattered, and those who hate him flee before him. But the just rejoice and exult before God, they are glad and rejoice. Your response, our God is the God of salvation. The father of orphans and the defender of widows is God in his holy dwelling. God gives a home to the forsaken. He leads forth the prisoners to prosperity. Your response, our God is the God of salvation. Blessed day by day be the Lord who bears our burdens, God who is our salvation. God is a saving God for us. The Lord, my Lord, controls the passageways of death. Your response, our God is the God of salvation. The acclamation, Alleluia, Alleluia. Your word, O Lord, is the truth. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia, Alleluia. Gospel, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke chapter 13 verses 10 to 17. Jesus was teaching in a synagogue on the Sabbath. And a woman was there who for 18 years had been crippled by a spirit. She was bent over, completely incapable of standing erect. When Jesus saw her, he called to her and said, Woman, you are set free of your infirmity. He laid his hands on her, and she at once stood up straight and glorified God. But the leader of the synagogue, indignant that Jesus had cured on the Sabbath, said to the crowd in reply, There are six days when work should be done. Come on, those days to be cured, not on the Sabbath day. The Lord said to him in reply, Hypocrites! Does not each one of you on the Sabbath untie his ox or his ass from the manger and lead it out for watering? This daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound for eighteen years now, ought she not to have been set free on the Sabbath day from this bondage? When he said this, all his adversaries were humiliated. And the whole crowd rejoiced at all the splendid deeds done by him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's reflection on the readings. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. What message do we learn from Luke 13, 10 to 17? Release from bondage is the key message in this story. Jesus is the liberator, enabling us to stand straight, freeing us from what bows our heads so that we see only the earth in front of us. 
Here we find that the synagogue leader is afraid to take on Jesus. Instead, he rebukes the crowd for seeking a cure on the Sabbath. My dear friends, many barriers stand in the way of us going to Jesus for complete healing. Much as the synagogue leader chastises the multitude for seeking a cure on the Sabbath. We have come to you, Lord, with all of our shortcomings and heavy loads because we need your cleansing and healing touch. We are like the hunched woman who needs your assistance and healing today. Help us to find rest for our tired souls in you and strengthen us through your word and Eucharistic meal. Prayer. Father, every time I read a story like this, it reminds me again that the only thing that drives you is love. Furthermore, you allowed nothing and no one to hinder your love. When you love a deformed woman, she instantly strengthens out and straightens out. She understands the restoration, which is why you call her daughter of Abraham. Lord, I do need that love. I require that reassurance. I want freedom, Lord Jesus. And I know that only you can give it to me. Lord, I humbly pray for freedom from sin and selfishness as well as freedom of the spirit and love. Amen. My dear friends, please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. God bless you.